So guys, um, well it had to happen eventually, and I've got to drink a beer which I don't really like, but it's in the book. Not the worst of beers. I haven't got to Budweiser yet, uh, but it, this one is Bombardier. It's a boring beer. I've had it. I haven't had it for years, to be fair. But is it going to pass the Green King IPA Doombar test? Mm, let's find out. So, the tasting notes, which are going to be amusing, um, say an appealing deep copper coloured ale. Okay, don't think it's appealing. It is cop. It is copper coloured. It's true. That immediately attracts with a tempting aroma of dark fruits and underlying hot spiciness. It doesn't. Well, I'm going to give a real view when I open it. But uh, on the palate, luscious multi notes and hint of fruit combined before leading to a bitter finish. I know there's a bitter finish. The whole thing's a bitter finish. So um, they have changed their uh, branding recently. Um, this one is now, because they've now got two. They've now got the normal Bombardier and they've got a burning gold, which is a golden ale. Uh, so this one is now called Glorious, Glorious English. Um, and they've gone full out on the branding to be some sort of a, like, twirly moustached Boer War veteran English. Charge your glasses, troops, and enjoy a proper English beer. Bang on! It's the, la <laughs> it's the last thing that it says in here. Even the review, the, la the last sentence of the review says... Top hole, what? Okay. Um. Well. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh. I'll go show you this as well. Huzzah! Okay, right. So. I can't smell anything in the bottle. Definitely not poor condition. So I can pour the whole thing out. When I drink the whole thing, it's another matter. Right, so got a bit of a head there. Um, it is copper coloured. It's a nice kind of red colour. Um, let's go to smell. Now, it's supposed to be a tempting aroma of dark fruits and underlying hot spiciness. It smells of nothing. Nothing at all. No, no mm. scent. It's dark, I remember, but I'm going to... Um, I'm going to give it another go. How do I be diplomatic here? Um, it tastes of chemicals. I'm not going to be diplomatic. It, it just tastes... Taste preservatives and, and bad shit. Oh, a saw, sorry. Um, I mean, it just doesn't taste that great. Give another go. It's just, it's a boring brown beer, and, and I'm okay. Boring brown beers can be good. Or well, brown beers can be good. If they're boring, they're boring. But I'm not even sure it passes the Doom Bar test. I think I might rather have a pint of Doom Bar in good condition in a pub. It's also boring brown beer. But this is just rubbish. Why is it even in this book? <sighs> Maybe they got paid. Maybe they got paid by Wells and Youngs. And make the beer to actually put it in there. Um, first brew, nineteen eighty. I suppose it, I suppose it's one of the first real ales that came out when camera had kind of. That's the campaign for real ale, by the way. Uh, had started doing um, started putting pressure on publicans and breweries to stop doing fizzy cake beer and, and start stocking 
cask ale, and it's probably one of the first ones that sort of came out as a result of that, just as a guess. And it's it's dull, but I imagine a lot of the beers were also not that exciting then, but they weren't fizzy, and they had a bit of flavour, and they had a bit of life to them. I don't know that era before my time, but um, this is the worst beer I've had so far in from this book. And I knew it was going to... Ugh, maybe I'm just jaded by the fact I knew what it was going to be like. Um, it's maintained its head. The head's got bigger, actually, which is interesting. It's, a, it's very, very, very fizzy. If you can see, the video gives away that too much. Okay, so I'll give it some fairness. It does say it's chemicals a lot, but it is a bit of fruitiness on the initial taste. Um, it's what it rounds out to. The round, it just the mid, the mid taste and the after taste just metallic, almost metallic and chemically. Um, I'm really not enjoying this at all. Uh, I really hope that people who made the books weren't weren't paid to put it in. Hello, oh, bring on Budweiser. Whee! Um, well, I'd love to hear your comments on this one. Um, uh, I don't know, I can't even remember what the next beer is up yet, but um, when it is, I'm almost certain, if it's not Budweiser, the rest of the stuff in my stash that I have waiting to go are far more interesting. In fact, a lot of stuff I've never even had before or heard of, so I'm hoping to, the next review will be much more interesting. But do uh, comment about my experience here and like the video and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching.